A teenager tonight is sharing her story of how words have consequences. The 16-year-old is paying the price for writing a hit list in December at Hampshire Finette High School. It's not the first time we've reported on a hit list, but this is the first time we can recall a student charged with the crime has talked with us. KFDM's Haley Boole sat down with her today to share the lessons learned. It's a little before 6 in the morning. 16-year-old Amy Hebert is waiting for the school bus with her mother by her side. Well, I just, you know, regret it. I regret everything. I wish I would have take, tried something else. The bus won't take her to Hampshire Finette High School. Instead, Hebert will spend her day here at an alternative school behind the Minnie Rogers Juvenile Justice Center. Why? Well, I'm the girl that wrote the hit list at Hampshire Finette. Well, I never would have thought in a million years that Amy would have done that. December 11th, 2013. Amy walked into the school carrying a list she wrote at home. It just had the you know, students' names and it said that they're, they'll be taken care of by Christmas. Twelve names on a note. Not long before Amy wrote it, she'd heard about a similar hit list in another district. That's where she got the idea. After I wrote it, I realized that, that you know, uh, kids that write hit lists, we actually get in trouble. Not after what the news says, you know, because I just thought, you know, nothing happens to him. Amy quickly realized that's not the case. When we saw her, she had shackles on her ankles up to her waist. You know, I mean, she was like a, it was like a murderer. She was arrested and spent a week confined to the Minnie Rogers Juvenile Justice Center. Amy was 15, charged with a terroristic threat a third degree felony. I want to stand up for what I did so people you know, and to show other people the consequences of my actions. She's expelled from school for 101 days and on probation for a year. And he also has to complete 100 hours of community service. I don't want no one else copying what I did, although there has been kids that copied what I did already, but I don't want no more kids to do it. She, she's a good person that made a horrible choice, you know, a horrible decision and I don't want anybody else to go through it. The aftermath of a crime, Assistant Criminal District Attorney John Nelson says is becoming more common. Nine times out of ten, it's a cry for help or it's a, uh, a way to say, hey, this is what I'm faced with. Somebody please help me. And they don't know how to say that. Amy agrees the message on her note was a cry for attention. And I do want to apologize for what I did. You know, I never meant to hurt anyone. Now she has a different message for other kids thinking about lashing out through words on a note. It's not worth it at all. I mean, you're going to get attention, but it's not the good kind. Because it's going to change your life for a pretty long time. In Jefferson County, Haley Bull, KFDM 6 News. The head of juvenile probation in Jefferson County told us, in general, if a child is going through a difficult time, the youngster should seek out and talk to an adult. Parents should always keep an eye out for behavioral changes, ask questions, be observant, and seek help if they notice the child is becoming distant.